Hey everyone, hope you're all doing good. Um, so today I am vlogging um, because I'm going to my mum and dad's house to have a sewing day. So basically I am going to be um, 30 years old in December and um, it's November at the moment but my parents um, have bought me a sewing machine for my birthday and I've wanted one for ages. My mum used to have a sewing business and basically um, she wanted to give me a sewing machine for my birthday and because in the UK we've currently gone into lockdown number 2.0 um, my parents said that I could have my birthday present early so that I could like practice some sewing whilst we're in lockdown. Now um, you might be wondering why I'm going to my parents house. Well I um, actually live on my own um, and therefore according to the government um, rules, I'm allowed to form a bubble with one other household and that household is my mum and dad. Um, so that's why I am going over there today. Um, and yeah, so that's what the plan is. Um, I'm about to leave, it's almost 12 o'clock and I was supposed to leave ages ago, so I'm running a bit late. Um, but um, I have got, um, well, I've got pizza, <laughs> ignore that, I'm taking that um, to mum and dad's because I'm gluten free and vegan um, but I've got this big box over here full of all of my fabric um, fabric I've got and stuff that I want to take and my mum's got so much um, fabric and stuff so I'm really excited to go there I did order some fabric online um, the other day but it hasn't arrived yet which is a shame um, but never mind we will make do with what we've got so I will see you so when I've I just got to mum and dad's house now and look what's waiting for me this is my new sewing machine. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. What's in here? Open it. Mum, can you hold the camera? You can film me. Wow, this is so nice. Scissors. These are the zigzag ones. What's this? These are for cutting like little threads, I think, like embroidery scissors. Yes, these are so nice. I like the pattern on them. This is um, a magnetic pin holder. A little pin cushion, little tomato. Loads of pins. I can't get it out, but yeah, those are pins. Uh, this is a the unpicker and this is a little cutter this is also a little unpicker what's this these are this is like spare needles i think and little um a spare sewing this might be a zipper foot maybe for the sewing machine tape measure this is the coolest sewing box ever Ooh, so I've got all these different threads different colours oh I really like these neon ones these neon ones are so nice thanks mum these I like these colours they're amazing they're all organising colour coordinated colours in the drawers mm. so you've got all your reds and pinks together and then you've got your greens and then your blues what are these little trims Wow, these are amazing. This is such a nice box as well. The bottom is empty for you yeah, to fill Yeah, you can put up. some more stuff yeah. in there. Yeah. Okay, and then what's this? Is there something in here? That's just all your um, instructions to the sewing machine. A little cover. And this is a sewing machine bag. Comes in a set of three, which is really handy. 
So there's this little pouch here. Mm -hmm. There's this sort of medium sized one here. So you could put your fabrics and stuff yeah, in there exactly. maybe. Yeah, exactly. This is, I guess, the big one for the sewing machine to fit in. Do you think it'll fit in there? Should do. So, yeah, do. yeah, it's plenty of room in there. It's good. Oh, this is so nice. I like the colours. Thank you so much. This is the best present I've ever got. Okay, so that's that. So winding the bobbin. So we've we've put that on there. And we've put it over this bit, and we've put it on here. Okay. We've done that bit, yeah, so far. Yeah, then what you have to do, place the bobbin in the bobbin case. Now I'm going to do that. Okay. With the free end of the hair, de depress the foot control, stop the machine when it's made a few turns. You just have to press the foot thing and it will wind it up now. Okay. So what are you doing? I'm winding the bobbin up. Let me see. Do I stop? When the bobbin is full. I don't know when it's full. When you're all... like a bit fat off. Yeah. It just Are you getting on? It's really hard. I think I'm just practicing a straight stitch. Okay. I just made a scrunchie and I've just put it in my hair. You can't actually see it if you can see it. Oh, it's so nice. Very nice. Right, stop. Now, just can you reverse that bit because we're going to jump over and leave a gap. So, if you reverse this, secure the seam. Put the needle in. Now lift the needle and take the needle out. And then jump, jump the fabric up. And then stop. And then start again. Stop. Start. Stop. Put the the hook down. There. No, the the leg down. This thing. That's it. Now do the reverse stitch again. And then just go all the way down. You're going a bit uh, off, so just, yeah, that's it. Good, good. And then just before you get to the half a centimeter for the edge, stop. Maybe, yeah, stop. Now t put, lift the lever up, this up, up the, the, put the needle in, and then put the lever up and turn the fabric. And then re go down and reverse. And then go right to the bottom and reverse. When you get to the bottom, reverse again. And the reason you reverse is to secure the stitch. So just go down and then that's it. And then needle up and take it out. And turn the side lever up there. The, that's it. And that will help you release it. That's it. Good. Right. Hey guys, so I've been sitting here for a few hours now. This is the mess that's on the table. And mum's just gone to cook some dinner, but I've we have managed to sew these scrunchies. And I sewed a little pin cushion. I don't know if you can oh, I don't know if you can see that. 
and it's not very good but like, it's my first time really and I'm just in the process of sewing another one I don't know if that's going to focus there you go this fabric is so nice that my mum's got I really like it um, so yeah that's what I'm doing and I think I am going to pack up after this and call it a day for the sewing um, and just probably eat dinner and do for a little bit so hey guys how you all doing um, I thought I'd vlog today um, so today's going to be a studio vlog I have got a day off from my um, one of my normal jobs so I've got a day off so I thought I'd work on the Etsy shop today I have lots to do as you can see from the massive mess behind me I have been practicing my sewing so I'll just quickly show you the big mess and what I'm going to be doing today so basically I've got the ironing board out um, because I need to iron some fabric um, I've got a scrapbook there this is actually a pre-made scrapbook that I'm actually going to turn into something else because I've got an order so I need to just change that a bit and then post that up so you'll probably see me doing that a bit later on um, and I've just started sewing some face masks over here um, so I'm not very good but these were my first two that I did yesterday and to be honest I'm kind of proud of them um, the reason I've tied this is because I cut the elastic too long I think I've got quite a small face <laughs> so it's a bit big for me but this was my second attempt um, and I need to iron it in a minute so I'm going to make a few more I've got the pieces cut out already over here so I'm going to do that um, and then once I've done that I need to um, go and collect a hobby well I need to make my hobby craft order and then go and collect it hopefully they'll have the items in stock um, because currently we're in lockdown um, so I need to do that I need to do some housework and bits sort the scrapbook order out and then this afternoon I'm going to be sitting here and doing Etsy shop admin life admin and blah 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 um, so yeah that's what the plan for today is I've got a little visitor today as well say hello so this is my neighbour's cat not mine but she likes to come and sit with me sometimes and the neighbours don't mind um, her, she's 18 years old her name's Willow but I actually call her Rani because um, Rani means queen and before I knew her name was Willow that's what I called her because she used to come over and sit on my patio in the summer on the chairs and then I got to um, know her and knew her name was Willow. So she still responds when I call her Rani sometimes. Um, but yeah, she's just come in um, and she's probably going to go to sleep. Hello baby, hello. Oh, she's so lovely. I wish I had a cat but it just wouldn't work out really with my lifestyle because I'm always at work. But don't mind having this one when she comes to visit. Hello, baby. Say hello. Rani. I love you. You are so cute. Hello. Right, I am going to get on with sewing these face masks. And I will catch up with you later. Hello. Oh, you are just so lovely. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you showing your belly to the camera? Are you showing your belly to the camera? Little monkey. Little monkey. Are well, you going to let me get any work done? Huh? Am I going to get any work done, little monkey? Oh, why are you so cute? Why are you just so cute? 